every year, you know, Mother Nature, she gets to say record-breaking yield or record-breaking low yield. Uh, we had an extremely good early growing season. We kind of fell off a little bit on the tail end weather-wise, but that's nothing unusual. Harvest was, since I've been working out here, one of the smoothest we've ever had. Looks like we will have the best yields we've ever experienced. Now we have around 600 acres of cotton left, but we're way ahead of schedule compared to last year. We're in that final stretch. From the technological side, We've learned a lot of things. We've made some corrections. The through year changes. We're being able to see the effects of having good documentation data. It's really been interesting. From planting, spraying, corn and soybean harvest, and now into cotton harvest. We can start overlapping layers of, say, planting speed and different timing of application throughout the field. We can start seeing some of those effects come through in our harvest yield maps. Looked at some data from different varieties, yield trials and so forth. Doug had mentioned there's one variety that might be going away, but come to find out that's one of the top performing varieties that he had on the farm. And he could see that through this documentation data. I think the data has helped the farm operation mainly because it's, it's so easy to access. You've got access to a wealth of information that you've built on your own operation that's valuable. Having that app and being able to pull it out of your pocket and have instant access, that's kind of a game changer. I mean, everything really came into, came into sight for them. So this is a success story, you know, right here on the Scotts farm. My father and grandfather, they were very progressive. I think our grandpa would be extremely proud of us. We've been able to see not only my grandfather, but father as well, go through, you know, since we were, were really young and see all the changes that have come to this point. I think we'll continue to be progressive. It's that hurdle, that initial hurdle. Once you get over that, um, then it's pretty exciting. It doesn't matter if you're 1,200 acres or 20,000 acres, you need the most out of your farm. The more information you have built up, the better off, you know, and more accurate you'll be in your decisions. With data, you have the ability to make these educated decisions. You have backing. Knowing what to expect will be beneficial to us so we can be better prepared to advance even further next year. This is real. This can put more revenue on the farm. If you're not there yet, you need to get there because it's something that's gonna keep you in the game. One of the most difficult things I learned this year was that we could do this. We're trying to push farming forward, making sure that people are aware of the technology and the things that are out there that can help their operation too. <laughs> it's really been a great experience and getting to work with, with my sons. It just helped me from a learning perspective, honestly, and it brought up new questions that I could ask dad that would help make me a better farmer. We've just made a small step, a first step to great advancements going forward.